And what we do here is we have two entities here, the Las Vegas Farm, which sells stuff at a farmer's market, and then it goes, all of the monies that we gather here go towards feeding and caring for the animals. I retired from the military in 2007 and moved out here to Vegas. I started here at the farm probably six years ago. I started with the military, they put out a call for people to come help unload pumpkins. So we unloaded 10 tons of pumpkins. Right on. And then I've been coming back ever since. That's maybe 18 or 20 horses. We've got llamas, we've got cows, mules, donkeys, pigs. We've got several pigs. Hi, I'm Terry. I volunteer at the farm here. I came here 10 years ago with my seven-year-old and he was adopted, so he kind of felt a healing from the animals. And so now I start doing like candle eggs. I wash the eggs, I help pour the honey. I feel like I'm helping somebody here. In the last 10 years I spent here, it really built me up as an individual. It taught me many life lessons, like how hard you work can lead you to getting you know, this far and building up characteristics such as better leadership, knowing that any time during a struggle you can push through and you stay positive about it. Yeah. And this farm has definitely been a major part of my life and I'm really thankful to work here. We are going to ask you to show us what can they do to help, what can they do to volunteer. Like These are all frightened, terrified, abused animals. These are animals that really come from a frightening place. They had taken all of the horses in for Roundup, but several of them were too weak to be able to get in, so they just left them there to die. Oh, huh. And they said, yeah, I said, well, every female in my so she started loading and loading and loading and we ended up with four, five, six baby females. And she said, here's the bottle and here's the nipples and I'll see you later. And I said, well, I can do this. That's what I do. I'm brushing her little butt. The butcher shop was in full glory. So I got in the beachy cruiser again. Up I went. We loaded all the moms and all the babies. And that's how we ended up with a whole bunch of goats. Socialize so yes. that they're not terrified. Uh -huh. And so uh, socializing all the animals is really important. alone here. I've got wonderful volunteers, yeah. but I can't do everything I do oh, and the paperwork no. and go. I love chickens. I love chickens. so cute. I would like to find 14 or 15 vets okay. that would give me yeah. four or six hours once a year. And vet students can do it. If they had to pay staff, they couldn't be open. Yeah. There's no way. We, it takes so many volunteers and we can always use more volunteers. All right. The biggest thing we can always use is volunteers and donations. Perfect. Whether it's monetary or towels and sheets and Dawn dish detergent, we can nice. use pretty much everything and anything you can think of we can use. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Thanks. It's been so a very pleasure. It's a pleasure. <laughs>